Ladies and gentlemen, in my video guide you will find the information about QSearch extension that attacks Safari browsers primarily. So you may go to the Safari preferences, select extensions, and you will notice this QSearch extension in place. It says that QSearch extension can read sensitive information from web pages, including passwords phone numbers and credit cards. As you see, it is quite risky for you to keep this extension enabled. So, you uh, also need to realize that the extension is uh, involved in uh, redirecting your search queries. For instance, you may find this QSearch uh, enabled here in the Safari uh, homepage. So, when you submit some particular search query, you may notice that uh, this uh, hijacker uh, it changes the default search engine to searchbecovi.com. So that's all because of QSearch extension enabled. Now, you need to definitely fix this issue and not to tolerate uh, these redirections. So go to the Safari preferences again, go to the extension and make this QSearch extension highlighted and click on uninstall. But there will be a message saying that uh, the extension is the part of the QSearch application. To uninstall QSearch extension you must remove the QSearch application. Click on show in finder. You may find this QSearch app right click on it and move it to the trash but as you see it says that you can't move it to the trash because the mm, some of these extensions are in use well you could for instance you could end the task of safari by clicking on command option and escape hotkey to open for squid applications you may end the task of Safari and afterwards remove QSearch. As you see, move it to the trash. Well, we need to provide the administrator password. It's on my other screen to do that. So, uh, after this is done, the QSearch should be also removed from the uh, Safari preferences. Let's check it again. Safari preferences extensions. So QSearch is no longer there in the list. After this has been done, I recommend that you perform additional scanning of your Mac with Combo Cleaner and Avars. Uh, you may obtain the fresh copy of it on the official website combocleaner.com download it using this green download button and once the program is downloaded and installed start it from the launchpad in my case it's a premium version but in your case it will be in the trial mode the trial mode has got some free features too such as these three ones in the beginning disk cleaner big files and duplicates finder the antivirus is the component of the premium license only. So click on the Start Combo Scan button to initiate the detailed analysis and investigation of your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner Antivirus. As you see, uh, the antivirus section reveals 19 threads found during the scanning. So you may go to this antivirus part and click on review results link. This will automatically reveal all threads found during the scanning and you will be able to find the information about where exactly these threads are located. So afterwards you may go to the finder, uh, locate each specific thread, open its location and remove each thread one at a time. As we said, Combo Cleaner Trial works as a free scanner. It gives a detailed, full report about the location of threads, their quantity, and you may remove these threads manually by going to the specific thread location 
or automatically, however, with the premium license of the program only.